Hi, I'm Diane Price, President and CEO of Early Connections Learning Centers. And right before the holidays, we had the opportunity uh, to have a, a guest come in and visit with us who we later found out was a former student and a former employee. So I'd like to introduce Jackie Goodrich. I'm going to let Jackie do most of the talking, but I do just want to give you a little bit of background. Jackie attended here with her sister as a child at the Day Nursery. Um, and then in the 60s became an employee of the Child Daycare Center, Colorado Springs Child Daycare Center, which um, we, the organization that we merged with, with the Day Nursery Association, merged with in 1974. So Jackie had all this interesting information about being an employee over there, things that made us smile, things that we realized haven't changed at all, um, and things that made us reflect back on um, our experiences through the years. To come here it was um, was really really a happy positive time, and uh, the teachers. The I remember the director. I guess they still call it director. Her name was Mrs. Dunwitty, and she had a dog. And I'm an animal person before I was born. Uh, Sonia, who was an Irish Setter, and on her birthday in this it was summer I believe they had rubber molds that they filled with chocolate ice cream and froze them and we got them for dessert. Oh my gosh. And occasionally we'd be going down the hall, coming or going somewhere, and she would be taking Sonia through and going out. And so for, for those of you who are listening to us um, chat about this a little bit and talking about um, the director and Sonia, the dog, if you're familiar with the day nursery, the second floor was all residential. And so there are three offices on the second floor that are currently administrative offices, but that at that time were the head matron's apartment. And so um, I had heard stories through the years of the head matron or the director having a dog and that she, the dog would hang out the window and bark at the kids on the playground. But so the day that I met Jackie and she told me that I had an opportunity that night to talk about the history and I got to talk about Sonia. And for all these years, I never knew her name, so thank oh, yeah. you for that. <laughs> My whole positive thing about this place was happy. It was happy. And I'm there glad was, to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. Oh, yes. And I think on the whole, now being a retired preschool teacher and working with young children, I think the people who work with children are positive. And nowadays, they're getting so much better about qualifications and this type of thing. But uh, there was a couple of younger ones that one her name was Miss uh, with my hearing it could have been Stinker, but we called her Tinker, <laughs> Miss Tinker, and she just had all this vibration. She's the one that showed us how to do woodworking and, or whatever it was. Had a coping saw, and we cut out. Of course, I chose a dog, and we made uh, bookends. And I cannot find one of them survived after 72 years of being here, uh, and it's yellow, bright yellow. And I broke, I don't know how many blades, and they told me I was working on it, and they said, put some elbow grease in that. And I was looking all over for elbow grease, and finally one of them said, no, be, use your big muscles. You, you know, so I got it cut out, and uh, I had that. We had them both, and my sister made a cat, because she liked cats. And, uh, but I'm very sentimental with these, these things, because we didn't have a lot, we were poor. I think a lot of the children here are working Back in those days, the women were the single parents or the moms didn't get the respect that they hopefully get now. And uh, but they, <laughs> but I kept all of those things, just like the toy that they gave me for Christmas one year. They asked what I'd like. And this is the toy you got. Yes. Oh, it's a malt shake, a shaker. Yes. Wow. After dinner, uh, my mom would come down and pick us up and our. And we go uptown to Walgreens at that time, uh, downtown, it had a, a restaurant. And we'd get hot fudge sundaes, or I mean, hot uh, turkey open face sandwiches. And then we couldn't get a booth sometimes, so we'd have to sit at the counter. Yeah. We could watch them making banana splits and sundaes. Oh, it was just, and we'd always want one. And my mom would say, no, someday, someday, which we never did. But they asked us here one time, these nice ladies would ask us what we want for Christmas. And I told her I wanted this, I don't forget, Sunny Makers or whatever. This is what she gave me. And it still works. It's 72 years old. Oh my gosh! 
It's got a bad crack in the bottom. It had a cup. It had a little lip here. The, the little white cup is gone. But you have to hold that. It's rusty here and here. And you wind it up and you put your... <laughs> two years old. How cool is that? Yeah. Miss Greer. You know, she had long, straight hair. And she was always in a hurry. And she'd whip down that hallway wherever she's going. Her hair would fly back. And uh, she was so fun, and it just made you feel really happy. She was a real positive person. You know, I think that's one of the most um, special things that I'm hearing from, well, there's so many special things I'm hearing, but that this was a place that was brought joy to children, and it was a happy place. And Because I know sometimes the circumstances weren't always, yes. family circumstances weren't always great, yes. and, and the reasons children were here, but... If you had to be someplace, wow, oh, this yes, glorious yes. building, and clearly yeah. it sounds like with people who cared yes. and wanted to make sure that yes. we, all the children were happy and taken yes. care of and yes. healthy. And, and felt secure. And felt secure, yeah. yeah. And like I know, it's my years of working in early childhood education and preschool and then daycare for, uh, for nine years. I felt I had a step up on everybody because I knew what it felt like yeah. to have my mom uh, drop us off because I used to have mothers as, in tears crying as hard as their child and I'd say call me in about a half an hour and they would and the child would, you know, you should calm down and I would see these little people that were at home with mom and then all of a sudden they had to be someplace different, and, uh, uh, and and the younger the child, sometimes it's the harder. Sure. It and uh, so I felt I knew what it meant like. So I worked really hard to make them feel special. Well, like they, they were to me, each one. And as you get to know each child, you see what each child needs. How did you get? back to us, um, I say us, back in the 60s, I think, you went to work well, for the Child Daycare Center. So well, how did you become, go from living here and then have your, from 10 years old to however long it was, well, and then become a teacher with us? Well, my sister loved kids. We never babysat, which was surprised me, because that's the only way girls got to make sure. a little money. Yeah. And she, I remember. Yeah, she got a job at the daycare center behind the antlers. And I was still in high school, and so I, when she got married, I would go down there to visit her and see her and talk with her. Well, then she became pregnant and with her, their first child, and so I'd go down and talk with her, and the director, Mrs. Howard, Dorothea Howard, uh, I think she was the original one there, um, asked if I would like the job after school. Well, you know, it's a chance to make a little money. Sure. And so I started, and I was like we call the gopher. I mean, I'd take the two-year-olds <laughs> that were supposed to be potty trained back and forth to the bathroom and change their clothes. And I you know, did everything there. Uh, sweep, clean, work in the kitchen, make the beds. So uh, this was in the 60s, right? Yes, I started there. My first day was May 1st of 59. And I, I worked... Uh, after school and then on holidays and then when I graduated in 60, uh, I worked full time. Once in a while I would see one of those children and it's just to see how their life turned out. Because I feel they may forget your face, they may forget your words, but they feel inside. Because just through a quick story, when I was teaching pre preschool and the parents don't change, thank heavens, but I ran into one of my parents and there was her child, she was an, uh, Amanda, uh, she was about maybe six. And her mom was telling her that I was a preschool teacher, I was Mrs. And she reached, she just jumped over and grabbed me so hard and hugged me. So that feeling was there. She, she felt good and I felt even better. I think that you, through your experiences, have done incredible. Mm -hmm obviously impacted the lives of so many children. Well, um, I hope so. I, oh, I know you did. I don't think okay. you have to hope. I know you did. The yeah. fact that you, they they see you out and they knew yeah. you and you remember, oh, the, yeah. you remember the feeling. their names yeah. and their oh, parents yeah. and their circumstances. Yeah. 
you know you impacted their yeah. lives and, yeah. and made changes for them. Yeah. Um, whether they remember it as uh -huh. little children, yeah. um, that's what early care yeah. and education professionals do. Yeah. They impact, they change lives. Yeah. They yeah. change lives and yes. um, it's an, yes. such a fulfilling yeah. job, yeah. profession for us to be able to yeah. do. So Jackie, I want to thank you again for being here with us today and with me and talking to me about this. It's, um, it, it's just, it's warmed my heart to yeah. hear these stories and sort of, um, I retired this year and so to be able oh. to hear these things yes. about this organization that I've been associated with for the last 33 years, it's just, it's just the most moving thing. So to all of you who um, were able to listen to this and, and share in our history and share in these wonderful stories, thank you. Um, remember 125 years in Colorado Springs whoa, who are we? We're great. <laughs> and it's a wonderful place for children. And I think you heard that today from Jackie. And I hope you know how much we appreciate all of you being a part of our family and, and helping us share our story.